Two cities known for their unique cooking come together for a culinary exchange. We'll show you what New Orleans and San Antonio have in common in the Fox 8 kitchen. Let's go. Fox 8 Morning Edition is New Orleans' fastest-growing morning newscast. Fox 8 Local First Morning Edition starts now. All right, Nancy, you're in the kitchen. What you got going? Yes, I'm making, making cajeta crepes San Antonio style. These are fun. Yeah, they're Stay easy. tuned. Sweet and good. We'll be right back. San Antonio joins New Orleans in celebrating its tricentennial this year. And to celebrate, the two cities are doing a culinary exchange. And joining us now are D.D. Poteet and Chef Corino Cortez from La Familia Cortez Restaurants. Thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. 300 yeah. years old. These birthday celebrations keep going on and on, but we love it, don't we? We love it. You know what? When you think about San Antonio, New Orleans, you think about two cities who know how to celebrate, right? And we've been commemorating our 300th all year in San Antonio, you guys have been doing the same, and we said, let's cap it out by sharing a little bit of the love. We love to visit y'all, and we want to invite all of New Orleans to come visit San Antonio, and we're doing this, the Tricentennial Culinary Exchange, where three of our great chefs are going to be cooking at Sobu tomorrow mm -hmm. night, and then y'all are sending us three of your great chefs to San Antonio on the 3rd, because so much is happening in San Antonio, and we're excited to share that with y'all. It's so much to share, mm -hmm. and the cultures are so rich, and Carino, your yes. family <laughs> owns restaurants in San Antonio, three restaurants, we right? We've been in the business for 77 years, and my grandparents actually started our restaurants, and now we're on the third generation. We see over a million and a half guests a year, and we never close. Wow, <laughs> and we're making crepes today, yes. right? Yes, so we're making these cajeta crepes. Okay. They're so simple, so easy to do, and so cajeta is a goat's milk caramel mm -hmm. that we make in-house, and so I've mixed that with a little bit of mascarpone cheese. Real simple, two ingredients, and we're doing it on these lovely crepes, and you're going to show us how to roll them, right? All right, so is this the ca caramel here? Yes, it's okay. mixed in there with, right. with that mascarpone cheese, and it kind of gives that richness right. and cuts through that gaminess a little bit, nice and sweet. So you kind of do it like Gorgeous. you would do a, yes. a, a tortilla. Yes, just like, just like a tortilla. And nice. we're going to do our little secret ingredient. We're going to brush it with a little bit of Di Serono. You can do some sort of amaretto, mm -hmm. a little Grand Marnier. It's really nice. What? I can tell you what, Dee Dee, this, this culinary thing is unbelievable because when we talk about Tex-Mex in San Antonio, that's a, sort of an amalgamation of things, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. It really is. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're like you guys in that the traditional favorites are there, but both cities are really just exploding as culinary destinations. And yeah. I mean, in San Antonio, of course, we have just come out with wonderful chef-driven restaurants. And did you know that we are the only other branch of the CIA outside of Napa Valley? Wow. We just got the UNESCO Creative City of Gastronomy designation, only the second city in the United States. So besides people coming and saying, I want to go to my favorites, right. I, want to, I want to go to things I love, I want to have the Tex-Mex, there is so much happening both at the Pearl. You have the Alamo. The yes. Alamo. You have the Riverwalk. We have the Alamo, uh -huh. we have the yeah. Riverwalk. But you know, besides the Alamo, we always remind people there are four other Spanish colonial missions, which just became the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in Texas. Well, it's worth visiting. I've made a trip to San Antonio, and it's a whole lot of fun. How do I finish this off here? Oh, you're going to go ahead, drizzle that on there. Some good general... You got to squeeze it. Yeah, you got to squeeze it. And Nancy, like don't forget, our river walk now is 15 miles, so everything's bigger in Texas, <laughs> right? Uh, but it's those little neighborhoods. The Pearl, of course, is where the CIA is. The right South here. Town, the great restaurants all over San Antonio, our craft... Uh, cocktail scene, the wonderful events like uh, Culinaria and the mm -hmm. uh, cocktail conference, and of course all the fiestas at Market oh, yeah, Square. <laughs> so yes. tomorrow, tomorrow night in Sobu, at mm -hmm. Sobu, uh, everyone invited, or how does it work? Hey, everyone's invited. Okay. As we say in Texas, y'all come, all okay. right? <laughs> so at Sobu tomorrow night, if you go to visitsanantonio.com, you can find out how to get Sobu tickets for tomorrow night, but December 3rd, we're going to have three of your great chefs cooking at Trey Trattoria at the San Antonio Museum of Art. So, plus the Merrill will be there. Uh, we will have Sobu there. We will have Mofo and Maypop there. So, thank you for welcoming us. Yeah. And y'all come see us, okay? <laughs> and happy birthday. Happy birthday, New Orleans. Happy birthday, San Antonio. Thank you. you make some crepes like nobody's oh, business. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much.